hello everyone i hope you all are doing well in today's video we will see how to create chains in 3ds max uh, i will demonstrate two methods for making chains uh, similar to the reference you have seen here the chain animation you have seen at the start of the video is created using the chain i am about to demonstrate in this video let's select any view top view or front or any other I will navigate to the top view and I will create a rectangle here. And then I will convert it into an editable spline. And then I will select all the vertices and apply a fillet. After that in its modifications I will click on enable in renderer and enable in viewport from the rendering option. Next uh, we will adjust its thickness. I believe 23 might work well. Then we will convert it to an editable poly. You can add segments here if needed. I will delete the polygons on one side. Since chains often have these gaps, now these gaps have turned into holes. To close them, I will select the borders and cap them. Now I will chamfer these edges to make the shape smoother and more appealing. To refine it further, I will select these polygons and insert them slightly. This gave us one piece of the chain. I will rotate this chain 45 degree and make a copy rotating the uh, copy 90 degree on the opposite side. Now I will adjust its position for a better placement and then attach it with the second piece. And after centering its pivot I will reduce its scale. To previously align it to the exact center or zero position I will right click on the value next to each axis down here. This can also be adjusted manually. As you might know I have adjusted its scaling. So I will reset its transform once and then convert it to an editable poly. Next I will copy it and place it aside to be used for demonstrating the second method. Now I will draw a path or shape resembling the chain shape I want. We can draw any shape we desire. The reason for this is that in the rendering option, rendering uh, is enabled here. I will uncheck both and draw the line again. Now to make a copy of this piece I will select it and then hold down shift left click and drag it. Now 
here i need to specify the number of copies i want i will input 14 and click ok first let's rename it so that we can identify it easily in the layers panel i will attach all these part together to attach all the parts you need to select one part right click and then click on the small box in front of the attach option after that select all the other rectangles or parts you want to attach and click attach this will combine them into single object i think we need to slightly reduce its scale After scaling down, I will perform a reset X form and then convert it to an editable poly. Once the pivot is centered, I will apply a positive form modifier. Then by clicking on pick path here, I will select the path. You can see the chain is placed at the starting point of the path, but it's not following it. I will try to adjust the axis here. And now it's following the path. You can adjust the percentage to guide the chain to the desired location based on the shape. Stretching is possible, but remember excessive stretching might distort the shape of your chain. If you do stretch it, keep it minimal. Now one way to complete the chain is done. Now I will move it to the side and create another chain using the same old shape through a different method. And I will copy the shape. I will slightly adjust the size of this piece and then reset its transform and convert it to an editable poly. For the second method, I will use the spacing tool. You can find the spacing tool in the tools and in align option. You can also see the shortcut key uh, for the spacing tool, which is shift I. You can click here or use the shortcut, which is shift I. And I will click shift I, which will open this panel. From here, you can select the path by clicking on pick path the count value is 14 because of count value is 14 uh, there is a, a lot of space between these parts so let's increase the quantity in the count section keep in mind these are currently in preview mode and will disappear or any click but don't worry they are still there Adjust the quantity until each piece aligns properly. Ensure that center and follow are checked. If you uncheck the follow, the pieces will be on the shape but their direction may not be ok. All these parts will be separated. Now we have successfully created the chain by second method also by spacing tool. All these parts will be separate, however if you wish you can attach them. Hope you have learned something from today's video. If you are enjoying the video you can show your support and if you don't like them you can also provide feedback and your feedback would be incredibly valuable for me. And if you would like a tutorial on the animation I used at the start of the chain video feel free to comment and I will create a tutorial for it. Thank you for watching and we will see in the next video. Take care.